before the break, Dr. Christie, I was about to ask you about the whole, uh, this whole concept of antioxidants and um, nutritional supplements and whether we should be on, our audience would really want to know whether we should be on antioxidants, we all should be on antioxidants and nutritional supplements. What is your take on uh, these? Uh, well, I think everybody needs to be on antioxidants and, and vitamins. And, and the reason why is because we're living um, creatures. Um, just like when you're a vehicle, you put gas in a, in a car and then the, the car is able to move, we're eating food and we're able to move. The gas produces, the car produces gas and smoke. That's free radical. We produce free radicals. Okay, so that we have an exhaust that's leaving. Now, what typically what happens if you're not eating the right foods, if you're not eating enough greens and fruits, and you're not taking in plenty of water, and you're not having a lots of um, antioxidant vitamins and plant adaptogens and enzymes, basically those that gas or the free radical that's forming just from the everyday metabolism is damaging every cell. It's damaging the cardiovascular system. Mm -hmm. And what that does, it creates hardening of the arteries, then creates heart disease, mm -hmm. which then causes heart attacks mm -hmm. and strokes mm -hmm. and peripheral vascular disease. Mm -hmm. Your whole entire body right. becomes hardened from this free yeah. radical formation. So let me see if I understand. So we really produce exhaust like a car. Uh, exactly. And if you don't get rid of that exhaust, right. uh, then that exhaust backs up to damage every right. cell. Exactly. And the antioxidants and the nutritional supplements actually help us to get rid of this exhaust. Exactly. Uh, as it stands. And, and we're aging rapidly now because of the fact that the fruits and vegetables that we're eating yeah. are not as loaded with antioxidants as they once were. Mm -hmm. You know, a tomato now doesn't have the same nutritional content as a tomato that was harvested say back in the 1950s or the 1960s. Well, it's good thing you told me that because I noticed I can put them on the shelf and they last for a year. Yeah, well, you know, a lot of them are, are genetically modified. They all look good. They're shiny and bright. But from the nutritional aspect, it, it doesn't have as much um, content. You know, when you look at vitamins and minerals and, right. and plants, um, uh, antioxidants. Well, I know Dr. Moore has another question, but bottom line there is eat your... To eat, take your fruits and uh, your veg. Eat your fruits and veggies. Take your antioxidants and take your multivitamins. You have to do your supplements because the food is not as yeah. strong as it was before. Mm -hmm.